Peace, oh please, keep in mind that ease, it's obvious. So I had this astral projection experience about a week ago and it was real cool because I went to a place that resembled the moon and I had a being right next to me as I astral projected. Like a solar flare, yeah we keep it bright Take a look into the sky, yeah I be taking flight 2020 vision, everything gon' be alright Ascending to new heights with my third eye Elevate your frequency, ain't no other way to be When we rise into 5 e feel the love strong Open your chakras, can't lock to energy hot so this is what happened. So I astral projected, I meditated, I came out of my body, I faced through the window by going backwards as uh, you've probably seen in my previous video. So I don't face the wall that I'm trying to go through, I turn away from it and then I can go through so easily, right? So that's what I just learned, started doing more in my astral projections, going through walls, but here's where I went through the window, right? I went through. I come over to this little spot like in front of my house and it's actually not accurate because this is probably the astral realms instead of like the more earthly realms since it was uh, a little more inaccurate like there was these rocks and I'm just kind of like so mesmerized by how vivid it all is just so mesmerized right you know you get to this point like you can actually project so many times but like for me personally like I'll still be so mesmerized by how realistic it is, you know what I mean? Like, being able to project your consciousness outside the body and still, like, ha and have this awareness and being, like, lucid conscious, seeing all this landscape all so vivid around you is still mind-blowing every single time. So, I was just taking my time, right? For a moment, I was just taking my time, just observing the rocks and just feeling them, right? Because that stabilized the lucid dream or astral projection. So, I was doing that. After that point, I just like ended back in my, I, it went black, right? And then they just like ended up, I ended up being in my bed, right? And so I'm in my bed, right? I'm in like that void state where everything is black and I'm just pure awareness, right? I can still sense that like I was in my bed, but then this is where things kind of start getting weird. You know, it is common to start hearing things like being in this void state. And I did, I heard things, I heard noises coming from here. I heard noises coming from there. And um, this actually was very, very similar to my one experience where I had that, where I met those aliens, right? Those green aliens. And it was like that void state, right? Pure darkness, pure darkness. But I could hear all these voices going on, right? So I could, I could hear the stuff going on, maybe even like water, like trickling down or something like that. And then I felt immediately like, as I was just like focusing on that, and I was in this voice state, I felt a being, I felt a presence of a being, like, so I was over here, right? I'm just over here chilling, like laying in bed, and I feel this presence making its way. I feel this presence making its way to me. And it was literally, like, I could feel this presence, like, coming closer and closer, and it's like to my left side, to the left side, and I'm just kind of like reaching out my hand, because I want to see if I could feel something there. So I wasn't like purely, I wasn't exactly like super conscious, right? I wasn't like in a super aware state because I feel like if I was in a super aware state, I would have gotten up. But at that point, I was just like, just observing the situation. And I felt this being next to me, so I'm reaching out, I'm reaching out and I can't feel like anything. And I'm just like at a loss because this, I can't feel anything, but I feel this presence. And then like, the, I kept reaching over and then like all of a sudden it kind of like vanished. I felt like it was like gone for a moment. So that was like crazy because I don't know, there could have been an actual being that was there. Maybe it was like that one time where I met those green aliens. It could, it could be, it could be anything, right? You know, in this universe, like almost like anything is possible, right? We only see one, less than 1% of the electromagnetic light spectrum, right? I got enough awareness where I could just get out of bed, right? So I just got out of bed. I was in this room and then I was trying to teleport. So I was trying to teleport to the moon. That was my next goal. Cause right before astro projecting, right before meditating, I was set setting the intent to astro project to the moon. So I tried <clears throat> spinning around four times as that one experience where I told you in my lucid dream, I was able to teleport but then i remember i i like went through some kind of consciousness shift and then i was i was flying through the air and then i i saw the moon i saw the moon and i was i you know my intent was to get there so i'm trying to 
<clears throat> I'm trying to fly towards the moon, right? And it's so far away, but like that moment, it didn't deter me at all. So I, I, I kept trying to fly towards the moon and then another consciousness shift, a consciousness shift happened. And then all of a sudden I was in this place, right? I was at this place and it did feel similar to the moon. It felt so familiar. It was so weird. It was like, I think I teleported to the moon, right? And I don't think it was exactly how the moon is in the physical, but I was there. I believe I'm not I'm not exactly sure right I'm not exactly sure so but it felt so familiar it felt like I was already there before and like I was just returning this one time and so I'm walking through it feels it felt like I can't remember exactly but it felt like there were some kind of buildings or something like around here and then I, I walk through into this kind of like courtyard or something and in this little in this little area i don't know it might not have been a courtyard but like there was this like statue there was like this metallic i think it was metallic some kind of statue <clears throat> and no it wasn't exactly like the monoliths but it was it was like it was like here let me try to like show you it was like this this like a bunch of like lines uh metallic like structures like and they were like connecting they were like kind of connecting or something it you know it's it's hard for me to remember it because it was so so many details to how this structure was positioned so there's this metallic structure and there was this one thing that it was kind of like loose kind of or i can move it so i decided i wanted to touch it and move it so i kind of moved it but then i it, like i shifted it out of its place i'm like well i don't want to be like this like jerk who's like messing up this these uh whoever's statue it is so i like put it back and then like after i put it back I was all of a sudden, I was just in space, right? I'm in space. I'm flying through space. I'm kind of floating. And all around me, I see so many stars. So many stars. And I'm just floating around, just like looking at all these stars. Looking at all these stars. And um, yeah, that, that, was, that was super cool. I, I, I was just, it was incredible. It was like everywhere I looked, there was a star. Like the whole... The whole sky was completely lit up with stars and I was just floating there. I was just floating and then there was a consciousness shift and then I was on the ground. I was on the ground somewhere and it felt like it was it felt like it was still at that place where I started out from where I landed there and I looked around and there was the buildings. I think I was I was still in this similar place. Right. And uh, I just I just like walk out. I walk out and then I like look over to my left. I look into the sky again. And then I see these like streamers, like these, how do I explain this? It was like lights, streams of light, just like trickling down like this, like this orangish reddish, like stream of light, just trickling down. And it was just so, so trippy just to like see that. I, I didn't know. I, I can't even explain to you anything else. Like what that was. It was like these lights. It was like these lights of light, like lines and lights just like streaming down. That's all I can tell you. And I, I, I was just, I was just shocked. I was in awe, like just watching this. I'm like, I was thinking to myself, like, what is that? What is that? I don't know. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. After that, I woke up and I was back in my body. And that was the end of the experience. So I believe I went to the moon and I believe there was an entity next to me. That was uh, pretty notable for this experience. And that's about it. But I have another astral projection that actually happened the day after, the morning after, and I will be posting that video after this. So stay tuned, subscribe, and hit the bell notifications to get notified when I release the videos. And here you will see astral projection videos. Until next time, peace. Oh, please keep your mind at ease. It's obvious.